everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I'm playing some Clock Tower. We still have to play Helen's scenario, because we've already played Jennifer's. I already recorded the first fucking episode, but only realized after I recorded it that my dumbass forgot to plug in my microphone. <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on one fact, which you guys will see much less loopiness in this episode from that fact, because... That episode started a half an hour ago, but I've had a really shitty two weeks. And Ruth Bader Ginsburg just died, so I downed an entire bottle of wine. I'm not drunk. I actually have a stupidly high tolerance for alcohol, but I'm a little loopy. Not quite tipsy-tipsy, but definitely a little loose. So I'm going to be a little bit goofier in this episode. Less goofy than the one that I just recorded. Had the uh, microphone actually been plugged in. But yeah. So, to play as Helen, because we played as Jennifer last time. In order to play as Helen, you only have to talk to Harris once. You talk to him twice, you play as Jennifer. You talk to him once, you play as Helen. Professor Bart. It's entirely the same. What on earth are you doing, Professor? The, um, you mustn't hypnotize her like this. Shut up, Helen. The beginning playthrough is exactly the same. The murders yet. So I'm oh, just going to skip this part because we've already seen it. Are fascinating research material for me. Okay, this is your reminder. If you're playing this game, you talk to Harris once. Only once. You accidentally click on him again and talk to him twice, he'll play as Jennifer. But if you want to play as Helen, only talk to him once. And then go past him, go to the elevator, do the um, interview with the pedophile, Nolan. And somebody gave me some shit in the comments at one point about calling him a pedophile, but that's literally canonically what he is. Well, technically he's the canonically an aphibophile, but in my opinion, same damn difference. So yeah, do the interview, and once um, you've gone down here for the interview portion... Harris leaves that stairwell. So that's when you're locked in for whatever character. So when you guys see me next, I'll be playing as Helen. Alright. So last time when I played, when I played Jennifer's playthrough, I had the statue sent to the bar bartender. <laughs> the um, butler, the Barrow's butler, Rick. And Rick got uh, crushed by a goddamn chandelier. So that's one of the things that, one of the big things the difference about this playthrough if you send it to the library you will always play as helen in the library if you send it to ricks you will play as nolan if you're playing jennifer's scenario or you will play inspector gots if you're playing um helen's scenario and it is a little bit different like how rick dies is a little bit different between jennifer's and helen's scenario but generally you'll play the secondary that's the only time you'll get to play the secondary characters if you choose rick now, because I chose Rick last time, even though pl choosing Rick this time would be a little different, I'm going to choose the library to send the statue, just because we haven't seen the library at all in Jennifer's playthrough because they didn't pick that. So I'm going to hit no there, and since you hit no, you sent it to Professor Sullivan at the Metropolitan Library, and you got to remember that because if you fuck that up in um, scenario two and you go to the wrong place, instantly you get the worst ending. Because this game does not pull its goddamn punches. <laughs> and before any of you make a comment, this is kombucha. It's not more wine. The wine has already been drunk. Because I have had a very shitty two weeks. If you guys have been following me on Twitter or seeing the news about RBG dying. 2020 sucks. Edward, I thought he completely lost his memory. Why talk about him when he's right in front of you? That's kind of a dick move, Barton. Does he remember his name? Probably not. <laughs> I call him Edward because I'm a pedophile who's sexually attracted to him. Don't give me shit for that. Canonically, it's true. <laughs> That's not me pulling things out of my ass. Canonically, Kate there is attracted to the ten-year-old boy. The fact that at least in a couple endings he uses against her to possess her. Oh, 
Blah 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 Already seen this shit. <laughs> So you say I already have something that says I was playing as Helen. That's just because of um, me fucking up the recording originally. So you guys aren't going to be able to even see at least halfway tipsy. Because again, I have a ridiculous alcohol tolerance. So even though I downed an entire bottle of wine, I honestly don't feel it that much. But you guys miss um, truly slightly tipsy Scarlet from the original recording of this. Sadly. I hope I can get some, or I hope I can get a fix sometime today. Otherwise, I won't get my dissertation done on time. Don't worry. When Danny gets back, I'm sure he'll be able to help you. You're probably right. In the meantime, I'm going to step out for a bit. Would you ask Danny for me, please? Sure. See you later. Where to? Okay, I know I have to go to the hospital, or I have to go to the police station. Because <sighs> when I did the recording originally, I had to go there. But I don't know what the actual trigger is if you have to go to more than one place. I might have to go see Edward in the hotel as well. Assistant Inspector Gotts, the person in charge of the Clock Tower case, is here. So that's something that also doesn't make sense. The Clock Tower case happened in England, yet the in main inspector and inspecting crew and detective stuff for the case is in Norway. <laughs> because I make sense not at all. Well, Teach, got some new info? No, have you got any leads? Nope, nothing. That old geezer of yours, he ain't coming clean. Do you mean Professor Barton? Yeah, that's him. He said there ain't nothing straight about the case. Yes, that sounds like Professor Barton. What about that little cutie? Couldn't we stop referring to the 15-year-old frickin' serial killer survivor as a cutie, please? Jennifer? She's still having nightmares occasionally. I ain't surprised. She was almost slashed up too, wasn't she? Well, let me know if you learned something. Okay, bye. Okay, bye! <laughs> yeah, okay, game. Is it nighttime yet? Okay, we'll probably have to go to the hotels. Hotel still. Edward and his guardian are staying there. Norway International Hotel. <laughs> Since that's apparently the correct, pr correct pronunciation of Norway. They're here, obviously. Oh, Helen. How is it going? Any results from Professor Barton's therapy? No, but we can't give up hope. Sometimes something will jog one's memory. Yes. Will you be staying here long? Mr. Barton thought it a good idea. We plan to stay here for a while. Oh, really? Well, hang in there, Edward. Mm. Yes, Miss Maxwell. I, br I remember I brought this up in the original recording. I don't know if I brought it up in the Jennifer playthrough, but Helen's last name is Maxwell. If you haven't gone to watch my Clock Tower 2 Struggle Within um, charity playthrough, because I haven't done a straight um, playthrough of it, I did it as a charity stream, um, sort of like I did with the Resident Evil 1 remake originally, but yeah, the... You'll know why hearing the fact that uh, one of the two playable characters in this game's last name is Maxwell kind of makes you go, if you take the second game into account. I've got to get back to the university. Okay, so it was just Norway, and or the Norway International Hotel and the police station I had to go to. Okay. So then you go to the research building and get stabbed by the schisman. Time to go get stabbed by the schizer man. Because the skis are man only knows two step. 
Oh, right. I forgot this game likes to not do cutscenes properly. Oh, Miss Maxwell. I replaced your hard drive. Rude. Thanks. That's a big help. I'm going down to the lounge for a short nap. What are you going to do? We'll be going home soon. Oh, okay. Well, no need to lock up. Okay. I think the fax machine's in that room. I know, um, I do have a cheat sheet. It's not like a straight playthrough, which is the in scenario one, make sure you have this. In scenario two, make sure you do this in order to get to the last ending. Um, I know in scenario one, I have to pick up the flashlight in the fax machine room. Because as Jennifer, we had to pick up the oil can in the storage room in order to get the best ending. Hi, random lady. Is that you, Baker? Oh, it's you, Helen. Baker's still in the lab. Rose, are you seeing Baker again here? Yes, sort of. Well, no matter how late it is, remember, don't use the university as a motel. <laughs> yeah, okay, innuendo much. I think it's about time for a nap. Can you turn off the light, please? No, fuck you. I uh, know, it, it makes me turn off the light. Of course. Now, I was running around this room for, like, an extra five minutes because I couldn't figure out what the hell button press I had to do to get that to trigger. But, no, you just talk to Rose, click on the bed, turn off the light, go to bed. I'll take a quick cat nap and then work on my report. That is a terrible idea. I don't know about you guys. I can't nap for shit. Every time I try to nap, I wake up like six hours later and go, well, that didn't work. I'm terrible at napping. What do you want? I bet this is schismin. Well, now who is it? It's the schismin. It's the schismin. He gon' stab you. Hi, Danny. I think. Wait, Danny's blonde. Never mind. <laughs> it's a skeleton! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh, no, it's a skeleton! Whatever shall I do? Bam, 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 bam. Use the fire stealer shirt and shoot him in the face. And then cut off his head, even though his hair hurt. It's so stumped that she's not gonna cut off his goddamn head. Like, why would you not cut off the monster's head? That's the way that you get the monster to stop, is by decapitation. Now you're just gonna leave him? Cool. See, I would have taken his skizzers away at the bare goddamn minimum. So, flashlight in the fax machine room. Um, that's, and then we have to figure out how to get out of here. I don't actually know if it's the same. Let's see. The emergency ladder. It can't be because it's locked. Uh, certainly it'd be a big help in an emergency. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm assuming. No? Okay, fuck you. <laughs> Um, I'm assuming the game wants me to also use the emergency ladder, because that's what you do with Jennifer. Now, if I'm correct, the fax machine room is the one in front of Dr. Barton's office. That means it's this way. Because you could hear the fax machine going off during that cutscene, but I don't know if it's actually this room or not. Let's try over here. The files in the case of a mental illness. Records of criminals, Professor Simmons' profile is here too! Tits. Okay, so it's not here. Why did I think it was here? Is this not the facts room? Yeah. Helen 
Ben's desk. Oh no, I left the key to the office laying here. Oh cool, I have the office key. Um, does that mean I can get into Barton's office? Yeah. I can get to the therapy room with this. I don't know what fucking use that is, because what I need is the goddamn key! Uh-oh. Don't look at it, dumb oh. map! Good job, you fucking idiot. Patient files are stored here. Bottles of medicine. Bottles of medicine. There are files on the desk. There's something written on the file. You have discovered hint number four. I don't need no hints, I have the internet. <laughs> Fuck! Getting chased by the schism in. So, wait, what? Fuck you, game! He came out of the therapy? Excuse me. There's still music, I'm not clicking on it. I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna die. What do you wanna bet? <laughs> yeah, that's what I fucking thought. You're an asshole, Skizzerman. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> Lock him in the bathroom, Helen. Helen, it's not that hard. Lock him in the fucking bathroom. No? You're an idiot. <sighs> Let's sigh. So maybe I can use the other bathroom? I still gotta find where this fax machine room is. Because I need this flashlight. Don't be so loud! Don't be so loud, you fucking idiot! Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, for a second I was like, he's gonna be there when I open the door again. No, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Well, there's only three floors, so one of these is gonna be the fucking fax machine. Lab is currently, this door is locked and won't open. Cool. There's no way to open this door. <laughs> Well, that's a defeatist fucking attitude, Helen. Okay. That might be the storage machine room. Okay, this is a storage storage room. I fucking know better. Because we don't need no oil can. Should I be fucking let it slide? Huh. I don't know if this wired shut it won't open. Oh, that's right. Store isn't supposed to be used. Then why is it there? I wonder if I could do something to the wire. Wait, do I not have to use the stairs? Everything seems normal. Next up, papers, possible research documents. I'm not clicking on the fucking box, I know better. Do 
parts for computers. Okay, so it's not here. And where's the fax machine room? It's locked. It's locked. Okay. One of these. Has to be the flashlight. It's somewhere. Did I miss it? I swear the fax machine room was that room on the second floor. Hmm. Did I miss a room? Okay, that's the fucking run helm. We got shit to do. Okay, there's a fire extinguisher just in case. Mary Kunasa Laboratory, the door won't open. Hmm. Not sure where the fax machine room is then. Unless I miss I swear I fucking missed something. I still feel like I missed something. two things here. Was there a door on the third floor I might have missed? Come on, run. We don't got time for your shenanigans, lady. Sully gonna walk while getting chased by a serial killer. If it's being repaired. This might be useful. I have pliers. So I forgot that there was a room to the right of the lift. I usually stay away from the lift in this scenario because of the fact that you can get jumped and insta-killed by schismen in the lift. Or the elevator, I guess. But, you know, British humor or European humor, so it's a lift. Wait, no, is it? No, no, it's third floor. No, 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 wait, I was on the third floor. What the fuck am I doing? Second floor. Second floor! Damn it, Helen, you suck. <laughs> Don't get chased by the schism, man. It's bad for you. So now at least I have those three rooms to check. Excuse me, on the other side, spears me immediately. Fuck. It's Oh, there's the fax machine! Excuse me, you fuck with! <laughs> well, I found the fax machine. I think. Hit him! Hit him with the pot! And then for God's oh. sakes, take his fucking scissors! I need to go in there. No, like seriously, take his fucking scissors. Helen, you suck. Also, lol, he's not in here. <laughs> okay. Built-in fax machine. The power is out here too. Okay, so this is definitely the fax machine room. Thing is completely cut off from the outside. Yeah, I found the flashlight. Cool. This might be useful. So this is what I needed. I'm not doing it. The fax machine rings. Don't look at it. Helen. I can't move. Game! Don't fucking read it, Helen. 
I'm not reading the fucking fax machine. Fuck you, game. <laughs> I know what your plot is. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm too genre savvy for your game. Okay. So I got the pliers. I got the thing. But that's what we're gonna do. My name's Miss Girl Tinsher, and I have been playing some Clock Tower Helen scenario. I'll see you all in the next video.